Hey FTM Transtex viewers, it is Saturday, I'm Zach, and uh, this week we are talking about the word tranny. Before I start my video in earnest, uh, either before you watch the rest of this or after or at some point, um, I'm going to put a link to a video by a trans woman named Kaya. Um, it floated around Tumblr a few months ago, um, but it's pretty much this whole topic um, from the perspective of a trans woman, and I think um, the points she made were really great, and she does a really excellent job of um, showing her point in the matter, and I really feel like it's necessary um, to have a trans woman's perspective on this issue, um, especially because the word tranny historically uh, and even today is mostly used against them. So with all that, uh, I'm going to start out by saying, is the word tranny offensive? Yes. Unfortunately, I have a lot more to say than that, so this isn't going to be a 50 second long video or or whatever. Um, but yes, the word tranny is offensive in the same base way that the word dyke or faggot um, is offensive. Obviously, the latter two terms um, in a lot of ways have been reclaimed by their respective communities. Um, they're still used as slurs against um, gay and lesbian people, but in a lot of ways, especially the words, uh, especially like the shortened, you know, fag and dyke, um, I really feel have have had a strong reclamation movement um, in those communities. Even stronger, uh, the word queer. Um, I almost never hear anyone say anymore that they find the word queer offensive, even though it started out as a derogatory term to describe LGB, etc. people. Um, but there has been a really strong consciousness and a strong movement um, to reclaim that word as kind of an umbrella term for all these sorts of identities. Um, tranny hasn't gotten there yet. I don't think it is appropriate for trans men to be taking the brunt of the reclamation movement. Um, Early on, after I first came out and, um, you know, started figuring out this whole gender thing and figured out I was trans, um, I did use the term tranny uh, to describe myself. Um, not frequently, but I did use it. Um, I used it in, you know, I used it in online spaces and I used it um, in, you know, real life spaces um, to describe myself. and. I only used it for myself, but it did end up um, offending a couple people. And, you know, after they explained to me why they were uncomfortable with the term, um, I stopped using it, and I haven't really used it since um, to describe myself or to describe anyone else. As you probably well know, uh, tranny is a derogatory term primarily used against um, trans women or, um, you know, non-binary identified, um, people who are assigned male at birth, um, me uh, people who identify as male or assigned male at birth and cross-dress. Um, these are the primary targets of the word tranny. Um, and historically they have been the targets of this word and the word tranny carries with it a lot of negative stereotypes. Um, tranny is pretty much the whole trope of man in a dress or man pretending to be a woman or a predatory gay man who's trying to do whatever. Like there's a lot of negative, negative, incredibly hurtful stereotypes associated with this word. Um, in all my time on the internet and in life, um, I haven't really come across anyone who has used that term in a derogatory sense uh, towards trans men. Is that to say that it hasn't been used against someone in a, in, against trans men in a derogatory way? Of course not. Um, I have no doubt that it has. You know, I've heard stories. Um, but that does not mean, you know, that doesn't erase the fact that if you say the word tranny, nine times out of ten, someone's thinking, man in a dress. As a culture, uh, we're afraid of femininity. Um, you know, I don't, I don't need to explain it to you. Male 
a male identity, a masculine identity, is oftentimes far more valued than a female or a feminine identity. Um, you know, we fear femininity in our male children. Um, we fear, we we fear homosexuality in men, um, because somehow it is perceived as a sign of weakness, and it is going against all the great ideals of manhood, or whatever the fuck. So anyone who's assigned male at birth who goes against that is oftentimes ridiculed, harassed, um, faces, you know, a lot of threats, not only mentally and emotionally, but physically. Um, and, you know, out of this hatred and this um, devaluing of, of feminine and female identities um, came the word tranny. It's it's really, really complicated to, to kind of form a concrete opinion on this matter. Um, because no matter what I say or what anyone else says, um, you guys out there or whoever's going to see this, um, you know, you already have your own opinions on the matter and you probably think I'm full of shit and I have, you know, no right to say what anyone else should say and I don't. Um, or, you know, you already agree with me, so I'm preaching to the choir. Um, but I think when it, you know, comes down to it, um, in the FTM community, I really, 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 really feel that the use of the word tranny um, cannot come easy. Uh, and by that I mean that it's not something that should be thrown around in the way that I see it thrown around um, especially among, uh, younger, um, younger trans guys. And I'm not trying to be, like, ageist or whatever, that's just what I happen to see. Um, that's not to say that older trans guys don't do it too, I just haven't seen it. Um, but I really feel like the word is often thrown around with no sense of its history and with no sense of context, um, in that you know, when trans guys use the word, they don't think of where it comes from or the fact that it was primarily used against trans women um, or the fact that it's still primarily used against trans women. And, you know, they don't, they use it um, without, the con without, you know, really getting a sense of the context that they're using it in. Um, you know, they're not aware of the spaces they're in. Um, whether it's online or in real life and not thinking about the people around them and the relation that they have to that word. And I also feel that a lot of this comes from the fact that the FTM and the, uh, you know, trans women or trans female communities are really, really disparate, especially now, um, especially in the younger generations. You know, there's not a lot of engagement between the two. Um, especially in online spaces, I rarely, rarely see any conversations happening um, between trans men and trans women in online spaces. Um, we kind of tend to keep to ourselves and don't engage with one another, um, especially on issues like this. And I really feel like engagement with trans women and M to F communities on, on the use of the word tranny, I really feel would add a sense of context and, you know, would really allow people to understand the history and the full meaning of the word and the kind of, um, kind of damage it has had as a whole on the trans women community, um, you know, throughout the years since, you know, it started really being used. I'm not, again, like I said, I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot say. Um, I personally don't use the word and I probably never will. I feel like anyone who has had the word tranny used against them, regardless of whether they're a trans woman or a trans man or someone who's genderqueer or non-binary identified or whatever, um, I feel like they do have a right to reclaim the word, but I feel like it becomes a lot more complicated when the word hasn't been used against you. And if it hasn't been used against you in a derogatory way, um, I really think that we need to step back and think about, you know, why we're using this word and if it's appropriate and, you know, whether or not, you know, thinking critically about this word 
and not just kind of using it just because we know it exists. Pretty much in conclusion, um, I think we need to talk more about this issue. I think we need to not only talk amongst ourselves in the trans male community, um, but we need to talk to trans women and we need to talk to um, genderqueer and you know, non-binary identified people assigned male at birth and have an actual discussion about this um, because we're not going to get anywhere and we're going to keep infighting and, you know, not actually able to be cohesive um, without actually talking to one another. Those are my feelings on the word tranny. Um, I'm sure there will be a lot of feelings involved in this. So, um, leave a comment or message me on my personal channel or whatever, um, just try to remain civil. If you are going to comment, um, realize that there are a lot of different opinions on this matter and as long as they aren't being offensive, you don't be offensive, that sort of thing. I'm all about niceties here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, I'll be back next week to talk about like music or something totally not as heavy as this. So um, until then, I hope everyone is doing well and uh, I'll be back next Saturday. Bye.